Hello there, and welcome to the video. Today we will be talking about the elite Norse warriors known as Berserkers. Though there are other places around the world where warriors would go into a berserk like Fury, like some North American tribes or in Southeast Asia, as well as other parts of Europe, these northern Viking warriors are most likely the best known, and where the word came from. The old Norse, Norse word was Berserker. I'm not even gonna attempt like I said that right. Likely it means bear shirt. Sometimes specified into two or three different classes of berserkers, they were fierce warriors, elite troops and members of a king's or warlord's warband. They would fight on the front lines, often wearing animal skins like those of bears, wolves or boars. On average they would be or at least depicted as bigger and more muscular than the average viking. It is believed that they drank hallucinogenic mushrooms, namely Amanita muscaria, found in the northern hemisphere all the way up to the subarctic. They made a stew from this using meat and dried mushrooms. They drank it or have it been ingested by an animal or an other person, then drink its urine to lessen the side effects but still gain the hallucinogenic effects. Some berserkers might have even had mental problems, like post-traumatic stress disorder, making them unable to control their rage or be an asset to most societies at the time, but perfect for the job as berserker. All you had to do was point them in the right direction, and they would destroy anything in their path. Berserkers didn't believe that they chose the life, but believed that the gods chose them for it. When sustaining injury in battle, they would often continue fighting, as in their intoxicated, rage-fueled state, they would often not realize the severity of their injury. The only way to stop a rampaging berserker was to outright kill him or incapacitate him in such a way that restricts further movement. This combined with their fierce belief in their pagan gods, they fought and died all to honor their god of war, Odin, believing that if they died honorably in battle, they would gain a seat at the table in Valhalla where they would fight all day, feast all night, in preparation for a great battle in which they would fight alongside their gods, namely Ragnarok, the end of the world. It is likely that berserkers were most commonly used as shock troopers for various Viking warlords, and that they were employed to break the enemy shield walls, as individuals with one swift, almost certainly suicidal charge. In battle, because of the hallucinogenic mushrooms, they would foam at the mouth, bite their shields and do animalistic howls, this all having a devastating psychological effect on whoever had the misfortune of being in their path. This state was also known as Berserker Gang, and they would mow down anything in their paths, even allies would know to keep their distance. There are several theories that Berserker Gang's manifestations alongside their rage was a form of self-induced hysteria. One berserker who faded into legend had to hold off the 15,000 strong English army for his king, also the king of Norway, Harald Hadrada, on a narrow bridge so Hadrada and his army could regroup. The berserker went into berserker gang and held off the English army, ultimately killing about 40 people before eventually an English pikeman floated underneath the bridge and skewered the Viking. Sadly, this one of the Berserkers' greatest stories would also mark the beginning of the end for the Vikings. As Christianity started to spread among the pagan tribes, the state of Berserking was eventually outlawed, as it was deemed too savage for their newfound religion. This marks the end of our explanatory video about the Berserkers. As always, thank you for watching. If you want to see another story covered, you can let me know in the comments which one. And if I don't see you again, have a wonderful life.